My name is Omar Bedoui. My role at Phillips, I'm the lead of population health analytics within Hospital to Home. And my original background is as a critical care pharmacist. Uh, I've also obtained master's in public health from Johns Hopkins, Bloomberg School of Public Health. I uh, had a very heavy focus in epidemiology and have used that to um, launch a lot of the research and analytics that we've been doing with uh, Hospital to Home. The population health analytics team in Hospital to Home in Phillips is a very diverse set of clinicians with very experienced clinical research background. So we have PhDs, epidemiology, computer science, with medical degrees, uh, PharmDs on the team, geriatricians, uh, many different physicians and nurses, lots of different disciplines, all working together to make sure that our research and application of our products is very clinically oriented and meets the needs of the clinicians and what our patients need that are being monitored by our programs. So how do they allocate their time and resources into uh, which patients they're going to spend the most attention to since they're monitoring such a large population of patients at once? The research we've done has been applied both in the inpatient and outpatient side. On, on the inpatient side, we've produced quite a few different clinical decision support tools, predictive models to help the EICU staff and telehealth center staff prioritize which patients they're giving the most attention to at what time, um, being notified when a patient who they may not be aware of at the bedside is starting to decompensate. And so now they can uh, divert their attention to that patient that needs it most. In the outpatient side, we've done quite a bit of research around identifying which patients belong in which level of care programs. And we've done a lot of efficacy analysis looking at uh, cost savings and what parts of our programs um, really are most beneficial to patients uh, monitored in the outpatient programs. The EIC Research Institute is something that really is developed out of the community practice with the EICUs. And the customers have all agreed to share the data uh, back with us that we de-identify and we benchmark their performance against each other. So they can see with apples to apples comparison how well they do against their peers without actually having to know uh, specifically who they all are because we de-identify that data. Then we've taken it a step further where most of them have agreed that we can completely anonymize that data, go through a very strict de-identification process and we leverage that aggregated data set for research, both to advance critical care research, but also to fold back into our products and develop better tools that go right back into our customers. So right now that database sits at well over three and a half million ICU patients with very detailed clinical information and data. Uh, we have oh, almost three billion vital sign measurements, lab data, we have all clinical data medications that follows them throughout the entire ICU stay and much of the hospitalization. So it's really a tremendous resource in terms of advancing critical care knowledge. I think the biggest thing that we want to accomplish at Phillips with telehealth is really improving outcomes and care of our patients, helping providers do their job more efficiently. Uh, we know that's difficult for them and everybody wants better outcomes for their patients at, at better costs and, and um, better quality of life, both for the clinicians and for all the, the patients and people being monitored.